Hey, what's going on? It's your favorite loving life coach, Leonardo Cavalli, author of the book 24 and Divorced from Tragedy to Triumph. Hope you're all having a great day and a great weekend. Um, today, I just want to talk about knowing your partner's inner child. A little bit earlier today, I posted up um, a video where a bridesmaid was talking to the, the groom and saying, the reason why I'm giving you my best friend is because you not only took the time to get to know her, but you took the time to get to know the little girl inside her. And I, I felt that, like that was really profound. Because at the end of the day, the younger you and the, and the older you are the same person, you know? And um, the bridesmaid went on to say that you found that little girl, you found out what she likes, you found out what her fears are, and you protected that little girl. And at the end of the day, we all have a little boy, we all have a little girl inside us. So if we actually wanna grow with someone and we actually love somebody, then the greatest thing that we can do is find out, hey, listen, what's important to that person, not just them now, but what was important to you as a child, you know? Um, something I have to admit is the fact that during my marriage, one thing that I did wrong was the fact that I didn't really dig really, really deep to, to actually know the little girl inside my ex-wife. Um, I know that when we were together, she had mentioned things about her parents arguing over money um, and, and how she hated how they would slam doors and they would be screaming and not talk to each other for days. Um, and me, you know, being a young guy, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. And just like kind of blew it off. You know, I heard it, but I, I didn't internalize it. I didn't ask more questions. And that's what I'm encouraging you all to do is with your partner, if you love them, ask more questions. It's important. Um, and that led to problems in our marriage later on because, you know, I'd go on a, on a road trip and, I, and I'd have to, uh, you know, on a business trip and, and take care of some things. And before I left, I'd be like, hey, sweetie, can you, you know, take care of the bills? Can you look after this? Can you, you know, take care of this money over here? And then I'd come back from the trip and none of the stuff was paid. And I'm like, sweetie, what, like, what's going on? I, I just couldn't comprehend what the problem could be. We have more than enough money. I'm like, I'm not even making you work. Like, like I'm, I'm taking care of everything. I'm just asking you to take the money that I put in the bank and just pay the bills. But again, now, you know, looking back on it, it's like she had gone through some like emotional post-traumatic stress. Forgive me for being so loud. I'm outside, obviously. But um, what I was saying is the fact that it seemed like she was going through an like emotional post-traumatic stress where things were triggering um, past memories of her childhood. You know, the fact that she was so scared of, of money that she just like literally didn't want to touch it all. Like she just froze up whenever she got around or whenever she had to do something equating to it. Uh, like, like as if me and her were gonna blow up in fights. But again, me and her never actually had any fights about it. It was the fact that her parents did. You know, the little girl inside her was still scared of ever dealing with those arguments and seeing her parents slamming doors and I didn't take time to really um, look that through and, and, and evaluate that and ask her why. You know, and, and again, I encourage you to, to dig deeper with your partners. If you're planning on being with them for the rest of your life, then dig deeper, ask, ask more questions. When you're going to go buy a used car or, or just a car in general, you know, you're not just saying, oh yeah, hey, it looks good, good on the outside. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, just wrap it up, we're out of here. No, you, you, you wanna find out Hey, this has been an accident. What, like, what's what's going on with this car before I got here? The same thing with a person. You want to take the time to figure out what's going wrong with this person or what's happened to this person before I got here. Almost like the emotional car facts on that person. Um, you know, if I ask you guys right now, hey, listen, what's your girl's favorite song? Oh, you know, it's that song that go, yeah, it is to the end of the road. I'm like, yeah, that's Boys the Man. I got you. But, but do you know why that's her favorite song? You know, because if you go back and you ask your girl, she might be like, well, you know, during the chorus part, um, you know, there's, there's this violin part, you know, and, and violins are important to me because, you know, my dad used to play violin before he passed away and da 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 Like, you understand why they like certain things. Okay, this is your girl's favorite movie or this is your, your man's favorite movie. Why is that his favorite movie? For me, my favorite movie, anyone who knows me knows my favorite movie is, um, is Pursuit of Happiness. You know, and, and, and anyone who also knows me knows that it's my favorite movie because of the, the drive that he had. The fact that he was going to take care of his family at any cost that he's really to risk it all. And that's where I'm at in my life. You know, but again, I'm encouraging you and everyone out there to dig deeper. Find out the inner person. You know, find out what they like. Find out what that inner person, that inner child doesn't like because they're still connected to the person that you fell in love with. Find out. Love you guys. 
24 and divorced. Long live love. Take care.